Now, by all accounts, the president is knowingly accelerating American death to help his reelection. That brings us to the big news debate. Should the president be allowed to kill us? I'll go first. I'm going to say no on this one. You know what? I am brave enough to say it. I'm part of a new generation of Americans who are standing up and saying, no, the president should not kill us. Wow. wow. You know, I honestly cannot even believe what I am hearing right now. There is nothing in the Constitution that says that President Trump cannot kill us. I may not agree with the president on everything, but I will fight for his right to kill me. Now, Senator, can you get past your bias toward being alive and tell us your honest opinion on this? Yeah, I don't actually think this is really a debate out there in America. I mean, no, the president should shouldn't be allowed to kill us. You say that now, but be honest, you're going to flip flop when Biden's president. Now, the New York Times took a break from profiling Nazi street style to share a recent poll. It shows the Senate Democrats winning Arizona, Michigan, and North Carolina in 2020, which I'm sure will encourage them to rest on their laurels, not campaign and lose. What I want to know is, can the Democrats at least f*** this up in a fresh, exciting new way for the American people? Uh, well, it is important that we not only beat Donald Trump, but make sure that Mitch McConnell isn't uh, the majority leader any longer. You can't pass right. climate change legislation. You can't pass voting rights legislation. You can't pass police accountability legislation if you don't also change the Senate. And listen, it'll be you know, our responsibility to step up to the plate and get this done. Now, those are strong words, Senator. But just remember, if you do get a majority, you are going to have to be responsible like a big boy. You'll have to feed Chuck Schumer twice a day. Now, for those who do not know, a senator is a member of a chamber of the legislature. Uh, if there are not more than 60 from one party, they immediately all become no more powerful than a Zamboni driver. Unless you commit to getting rid of the filibuster, Senator, is that on the table in a Democratic Senate majority? Listen, I've long been a proponent of filibuster reform. You know, I'm not sure that our founding fathers intended for a minority of 41 to have that much power. Oh, yeah, the founding fathers were dead set on minorities not having any power. All right, let's throw up a photo of a Zamboni driver. Given this filibuster thing, tell me why you're more powerful than him. I just think even if we don't reform the filibuster, we probably have more power than a Zamboni driver. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, even, even when you're in the minority with the filibuster, you can, you know, uh, pressure the majority into doing some things. I actually... Uh, launched a filibuster that lasted about 15 hours a few years ago, and I did get the Senate to agree to take some votes on things that I care about. Senator, you say that you can filibuster now and, you know, you can hold up the business of the country. A Zamboni driver can stay out on the ice as long as they want. I think at some point, if the Zamboni driver was, you know, holding up the beginning of the second period for an abnormally long period of time, they'd probably, they'd probably find some way to force that Zamboni driver off of the uh, ice. I, though, when I was performing my filibuster, there was nothing that Mitch McConnell could do to force me off the Senate floor. He actually had to agree uh, to a vote on a universal background checks bill. So, you know, in that sense, it seems like I had more power than that driver of the Zamboni. But we're just going to huddle on whether you're more important than a Zamboni driver. I don't know. I, I don't know. know. I, I, so he's making a lot of good points. Know. Everybody's making good I, points. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, a Zamboni I think, driver. I guess so. Really yeah, I guess it doesn't get the, does every law need 100 bar. votes or does like ice need to be flat? Well, it took some convincing, but we are going to go ahead and say that you are more important than a Zamboni driver. Now, congratulations on that. All right, let's do some dish and let's talk some goss about the real senators of D.C. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, woo, woo, let's do it, woo. So what's Chuck Schumer like? He's fantastic. Whoa. Well, that's all the time we have, unfortunately.